when we keep hearing about this, uh, Aryans came and invaded us and we are Dravidians and we, we are victims and we don't want Sanskrit and it is an alien culture and uh, we have more to do with Bible than all this, it is all con complete humbug. So, it, has, it, is, uh, it, is, uh, miracle. it is amazing that our scholars until Dr. Nagaswamy and a few others haven't done their job of bringing out response to all this nonsense. So, the, no the wrong interpretation keeps spreading in society and keeps creating a lot of biases and uh, uh, tensions. Uh, uh, so, I, I'm very I want all of you to continue listening because there's more to come. So, please continue. Now, this uh, what I call uh, this family life, yes. grahastha life. Uh, there are other abstract ideas which are also translated from uh, Dharma Sastra into Tirukkural. They are quite large. Then we come to the second volume of the book, which is called Porul Adhikaram in Tamil, which is exact translation of Artha Sastra in Europe. Wow, this is quite amazing. <laughs> this is great. now at the end. Uh, at the end, or you see, so far we had the, the, the studentship, the married life, the tapasvi. I haven't concentrated on tapasvi and the sannyasa. This is the same sequence, yes. which is found in Dharma Jatra, is found in Tirukkural. We are moving from there. This one relates to the personal life of every individual, studentship, marriage, tapas, the and then sannyasa. The dharma shastra, is which is chapter, life. which is the early then chapter. Then the man's role in the society. The kingdom. The community. The kingdom, the, poly, the whole society. Yeah, because Social and political. His life in the society. And that is discussed exactly in the same manner in dharma shastra, and it is discussed in uh, Tirukkural also in the same way. Next one. Okay. Exactly the same. What they say is about there must be freedom for the man to live in the society and he needs protection for his family, for his uh, uh, children to grow up, for himself to enjoy the life of fruits of life. So he needs protection. Protection from external uh, invasion and protection from internal commotions and that is given to the king. Kingship is to give, afford protection to the individual to have a full flowering of his understanding. Now, Arthashastra by Kautilya. It is both, there is overlapping between both Dharma and Artha. Artha is you create money and right. the economy. And, uh, dharma is the pathway, righteous pathway, both come so together. So, does Tirukural also, does he borrow the, the Artha idea of only from Manu or also from Kautilya? All, whole, whole thing. First, it deals with what is called Rajaneti. Okay. Raja Dharma. Valluar dis, uh, discusses the same thing as uh, Raja Dharma. Whatever is given as the angas, limbs of the royalty, the government, the same thing is translated into Tamil by, uh, in Tirukkural by Valduvar. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> it is the same thing, yeah. absolutely the same words are translated. So, the author of Tirukkural has studied many, many Shastras. Yeah, not one. It is, it is Dharma Shastra, it is Artha Shastra. Then we are going to see later on that Natya Shastra and also Kama Shastra. Mm -hmm. All these have been studied. So, he's really synthesized everything from Sanskrit into Tamil yeah. and done a very good job and that should be honored. Yeah. See, there are two or three points which is uh, very important to note. The Dharma Sastra emphasizes that the Brahmins were given the profession of judiciary. Mm. Judgment, because they should be highly learned, they should be followers of virtuous life, they should have no hatred towards other people, impartial, they must be impartial to the other people of the society, and he should have no greed or uh, desire to acquire everything for himself. And beyond that, it must appeal to his mind that what he is doing is correct. This is the definition of dharma in 
Manu Dharma Shastra. Manu has not been properly um, focused in India in modern times. Manu is an extraordinary thinker, very impartial thinker. And for the time when he wrote this text, it is unimaginable that such impartial text could come into the being. We, after nearly 4,000 years, we discuss and we deride him. But read it. Read the original. Such a wonderful personality he has. To, and then he says, uh, Vidvat Bihi Vidvans should save us the ideas. And then he must be a Sad Bihi. He must be a Sad good man. Now he may be a learned man, but he may not, if he is not a good man, he is no good. So he must be a learned man, he must be a good man, he must be impartial, hey. he must have a, a desire of possession, he must not have it. And then he must analyze whether all these are correct or not in his mind, he must act. That is called dharma. So very high standard, very high standard of conduct. Civilized way of, very civilized. It's exactly the same thing is uh, told by world war also. Oh my God, this is good, okay? <laughs> so uh, I think one of the political mischief is to try to create bhed and separation mm -hmm. by saying that Manu is a bad guy and the Tirukural is good when actually they are saying the same thing. It is the same. Yeah, and Tirukural is good and, and they, 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 those guys are different. They came and invaded us. Uh, we are the victims. Uh, so we are trying to save this uh, Tirukural's culture uh, from the Vedic culture. But yes. actually it is nonsense because they are the same thing. Uh, so whatever you will find in one, you are going to find more or less the same thing in the other. Yeah. This and is very important. And the next point, and as uh, the, this is a profession, just as a potter has got a profession, just, uh, just as a doctor has got a profession, that as a vainika, the, uh, uh, the vainikas have got a profession of making economy and so on, the Brahmin must concentrate on dharma. Mm. So what? he manages the whole ecosystem of dharma, dharma, whereas the other guy manages the ecosystem of money. Mm. So he is also responsible for something very important, a the, kind of uh, social capital. It, it, it is, is a form yeah, of social it capital. It is righteous. Yes. It is righteous to earn money. Yes. There is a verse which says in Manu that uh, the king must support the Vedas, the text of the Brahmanas, and also dharma. He is the foremost protector of the Vedic tradition and also the Dharma. This is what is said in Manu. Exact translation is Andhanar Nulukkum Aranakkum Adiyayad Mannavan Kol. The king's rule is symbolized by the scepter. The scepter, he must see that he protects Veda Dharma and also the Dharma Shastra. So, this is exactly mentioned without Andhanar Nulukkum Aranakkum. Adiya Indra the Mannavan Kol means that the government should support these ideas, Vedic ideas, means not. Uh, uh, ritual part of it, but the dharma part of it and dharma shastra. This is a specific statement that Andhanar no Veda and Veda dharma should be protected by the government. In Tamil, in Valluva Tirukural, and what happens if he doesn't protect it according to dharma? That also is, that is what is called Kodum Gold in Tamil, uh, bad rule. What will happen if the king doesn't properly protect this way, the dharma and uh, dharma? So the responsibilities for the king are king. also yeah, the same. He has to. The he, rulers must protect it because yeah. what they want is a civilized law. Right, right. So whatever is in the dharma shastra regarding the Raj dharma is also in the Tirukkural. Yeah, exactly. There he says. Uh, 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 the ah payam gundru, uh, payan gundru. Uh, cows will fail to, if he doesn't protect it, give milk and be useful to the society. So they gave importance to the cow go. Even Tirukural. In Tirukural. Okay. 
So all this, uh, this business about, you know, those cow protection are those saffron people and we are Dravidians, we are not into it also is kind of, you have to question all that. So, Apayan Kundrum, Arutvayilor, Nul Marappar, they will forget the justice. That means uh, justice will fall down mm. if you don't properly protect what are the Veda Dharma and so on. So, Andhanar Enbor Aravor, Brahmin means that those who are Panditas. Mm. Panditas are Samadarsinaha, equality, Samadarsa. They always look at all people alike, all living beings as alive, all living beings as divine embodiment. So, they are the people who has to show the path to the society. And so there is no question of anti-Brahminism in Tamil <laughs> culture. Right. There is no, no room for it. Here, we have to say one thing. Brahmana is the highest that Buddha respected in his work. That's also very interesting to point out. Now, this is not part of the Tamil debate, but part of Buddhism debate. Buddha himself has a lot of nice things to say. You see, the, no, not only nice, he says this is the culminating point and the highest point of human existence is Dhamma Varga, in what is called Dhamma Pada. Dhamma Pada is a text, long, very important text. Very long chapter on the greatness of Brahmanas. There is no hatred towards Brahmana anywhere in Buddhism. Right. What is being now perceived is wrong. Right. It's not there. So we, I have given in my book the Dhammapada, Bhamma Varga. What is the attitude of Buddha towards Brahmanas? Mm. Brahmanas means the highest civilized culture that has been cherished by this society of India for the past 4,000 years. So what Dr. Nagaswami just said, the most recent point, uh, is itself a huge study, a huge topic, uh, uh, you know, in Buddhism studies where this using Ambedkar to kind of uh, bash uh, uh, Brahmins and Vedic culture and Manu Smriti. Actually, Buddha himself has a whole chapter in his core teachings on the importance and the greatness of the Brahmins. That's right. Which means that the Brahmins were defined as people of a certain kind, certain refined kind and not sort of a birth-based caste. Yes. That is correct, right? That's right. Yes. There's one more point that Manu says, and it is also reflected in other works of Thirukural, that birth is not very important. Hmm. It's, it is the knowledge and the sila, the discipline that a person follows is more important. Than the, than the type of birth he got. That's right. So it is not Brahmana by birth he is respected, and he specifically says, even if thousand Brahmins who claim that I am born in the family are there, there's only one man who follows honestly that one. This one man is far superior to the thousand and reject them. Manu says. Manu says that. Good. So that's another uh, response to this business about Brahmanical and whatnot and whatnot. Because the so-called notorious Manu, as, as per our opponents, he himself defines the idea of Brahmin based on character and lifestyle and, and uh, civilization rather than by birth. So that is what Vivekananda said. You yes, know. yes. You don't level down the society or raise it up to the highest level of civilized life. And finally, we have the third volume of uh, what is called uh, Tirukural. It's not in the general two, first two volume. This is the third one. It's a slightly different one. It's not like teaching, but it's as if some uh, lovers on stage, you know, expressing their emotions, uh, uh, conjugal love and so on. That is called the karma. And great scholars like Uwe Swaminada here, the greatest Tamil scholar, and other great scholars like Mu Varadarajanar and T.P. Meenakshi Sundanar, they have all said that it deals with like Nadaka Dharmi, mm. as if it is we are looking at a Dharma on, on, a, on a, a stage, you know. So that means the language is different. Mm. 
and the expressions are all as given in the Nakti Sastra. Very so interesting. So this is Nadaga Vairakku. They have mentioned it specifically as this is Nadaga Vairakku. Nadaga is, is, is from Nakti Sastra. Also, some of these expressions which are very good in Kama Sastra. Kama Sastra is uh, not properly studied. There are very good aspects of Kama Sastra which say that you should not go after the other man's wife and so on. And these are repeated also in Valluvar. Okay. So even the Kama, uh, the third volume of Tirukkural has uh, taken from Natya Sastra and Kama Sastra. And so we have three books of Valluvar it has Dharma Sastra of uh, Manu, Yagnya Valkya, Apastamba, Gautama, Bodhayana. These are all great Acharyas, great Rishis who have given uh, Dharma Sastra. Then you have Artha Sastra of Kautilya, and then Natya Sastra and Kama Sastra of Vachayana. All these things have been taken and given in beautiful form, outstanding form, very striking in Tamil. form by Valdivar in Tirukkural. So he was a learned man. He, were, he knew Sanskrit and knew the Sanskrit texts. He respected the Sanatana Dharma and he is bringing it to the attention of popular Tamil mainstream yeah. culture. That is what yeah. he is doing. It, 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 it is the same culture. Yeah. He is giving it yeah. for easy understanding yeah. of the local people yeah. who are already following it. Yeah. So, you know, I talk about digestion, when one uh, culture digests ideas from another culture. Now, there is dangerous digestion when the person digesting it is taking it to an alien culture, making it negative, uh, you know, uh, uh, make, making himself stronger so he can oppress. But there is also positive digestion, which is within the Indian different uh, systems and languages, they digest ideas from each other. So, Tamil digesting, Tamil as a language, digesting the Dharma Shastras, Arth Shastras, Nat Shastras, Kama Shastras into the Tirukural is a positive example of helping each other and nurturing and benefiting from each other. You, you just touched upon that subject. Language is different and culture is different. Yes. We should not mix up. Yes. That language and the culture are the same and so this language is different, so the culture is so different. So this is going to be my next point. We can have we can have two different languages talking about the same ideas and same culture. That's right. We, you know, I speak in English, but I am I don't follow the English, English ways. Culture. So this is an important provocation and important challenge. The, we respect Tamil as a language. We, are, we, we, are, we, we know it's a brilliant language, it's a great language, it's an independent language, has its own history, but it may be used to express similar ideas that were expressed in Sanskrit. Yeah. And now, so that is the issue. The issue is not whether it's a distinct language, but whether it represents distinct ideas uh, and ideas in conflict with the Vedas or whether it is consistent, those ideas are consistent with the Vedas. Yeah. Here two points I want to emphasize. One is that um, Valluvar is the first and the foremost and unparalleled whom I call Rishi like other Rishis. He has put the Dharma Sastra in Tamil. Very good. And the whole of Dharma Sastra derives its authority from Veda. So it is a Vedic tradition that has come down to Dharma Sastra and what we was followed in Tamil Nadu. For the past 2000 years, I have already mentioned it in my earlier book that Tamils followed the Vedic Dharma. And so he was the first and the foremost who gave the Tamils the Dharma which is found in Veda and Dharma Sastra of Manu and Adesh for easy understanding of the local people and what they followed. If they followed any culture, lifestyle, it is only the same culture that is found all over India.